my channel we in miami sky Miami. <laughs> if you watched my last vlog then y'all watch me get ready for miami and we made it safely thank you god so we're actually at a hotel we just got signed quick because we're actually going to an airbnb tomorrow but it wasn't available for today the one we really wanted so it was like we're just gonna get something quick for tonight but then tomorrow you know and the rest of the days we're here from the 21st through the 25th so yeah, we ain't tripping. This is just something chill. We come from down sleeping on the floor. We don't care about none of that. So we're just not making it in the room at 5 30 because the traffic from Fort Lauderdale Airport all the way over here, terrible. So yeah, it's already 5 p.m. Zay and Jay just went to the liquor store to grab a bottle. The first day be more so like chill, just settling in, feeling the vibes. This hotel we've been to before, they got like a um little pool party going on. I don't know if we're gonna go down there and feel like the vibes. Y'all see my airport fit is a skim set. I had wore it cause, cause it was it's not that um hot in Winston. But then I know when we got here it was gonna be so hot, so just take the hoodie off. But this is from Skims. So yep, we in Miami with the vibes. Y'all know this is my favorite spot, so I'm happy to be here. It's me, Zay, Claudia, Cameron, and Jay. Just wanted to let y'all know we made it. I will update y'all once we get the vibes started. Look at this bag. I always thought this was just like a I love New York thing. Yeah, I've never seen it though. Cause I had seen some girl on Instagram. Yeah, she had an I Love Miami. Y'all already know we got that beef one. the Hennessy. Oh, they got a little special thing right here. And Coke. So we got four of our little first drinks. We headed to the pool party. That other hotel stink. Huh? <laughs> red cups, red cups. Miami crew. Hey. Put that man book crack. He thought we didn't stay at the hotel. The beach is right there. Right. Supposedly the pool party is over. But he's saying it's closed, but it's still people over there. 
you gonna tell somebody they close and then say, are y'all staying here? Who's just gonna walk in the hotel? So we sitting at the pool. <laughs> the lady at the front said don't close to sundown, so we can't dip our feet. We down there. Cheers. I'm out of town. Don't go with my round. We about to walk to Kane's. Where is Kane's originated from? I don't know, but I always see it on damn TikTok and I don't know if it's new in Miami, but I ain't yeah, never had new. it. They no, they just, Miami, yeah. Yeah, because I'm just like, when me and Zay came, I'm pretty sure we would have seen it. Yeah, they just added it. So we're going to walk to it and see what it's talking about. We done made it to Raising Cane's. I always see this on TikTok. It's huge. They said they just put it in February. So it's pretty new. as good as people make it seem yeah it look pretty in here look at the disco chicken fingers what y'all getting they gonna kick y'all out. This, yeah, this for sure wasn't here when we came. We got our food. I just got the three chicken tenders meal. Come with a little toast, fries, and they sauce. They done got. Oh, you, you already tried it. Oh, you had this before? Damn. I thought it was the first time with me. All right, we about to see what it's hitting on. Cause you always put me. They limited taste like um, Pizza City. All right. I'm gonna let y'all have your own opinion. It won't be based off. Don't weigh on everybody else's opinion. I feel like it's good. What's the thing I give it like an eight? You think it's better than Bojangles? No. That's what I'm saying. Like it's good, it's so it's good, but it don't taste better than Bojangles. Yeah, I give it an eight, like Tamara. So we give it an eight. It's good. We always comparing something to Winston. <laughs> Um, Zay got the tenders. Jay wanna be different. He got the damn chicken sandwich. Lottie got the tenders. What you give it? Eight. Karen. Eight. So I'm about to keep going in. Hey y'all, we made it back to the room. We had stopped at some stores and I ended up grabbing me these little shot cups. The first one. So cute. Of course I got red. And Kane's got the good ice, so I might have to give them an extra point. And then I got this other one that say drink up. We're also Miami. I got like a little shot collection at the house, supposedly, so. So Miami ones would be cute. <coughs> Who you coughing at? Oh, shit. Who you coughing at? So, we're trying to go to a lounge. Karen gonna find it. Hey, y'all, we made it to a lounge. It's called Mango's. Tropical Cafe. I got a strawberry mojito. They did too. Karen got a Corona. We all got mojitos pretty much. This the vibes in here. We probably gonna go upstairs though. Do it like skin face. Hey, do it like skin face. Hey.
Hey y'all, it's 2.40 in the morning and we made it back to the room. The place we went to was pretty lit. Um, They play like different types of music. At first we was downstairs, but then we went to like the upstairs area. So basically they have a downstairs area, upstairs area, and then upstairs they have like two separate rooms where they play different types of music. The one part we was at, they was playing like good music. Overall, I liked it, but day one, was pretty good to me. That's it for tonight. I will check in with y'all once we wake up. Oh, if y'all didn't realize I was vlogging off my phone cause I didn't want to take my camera. Sometimes it'd be too much to carry like my purse, my phone, my camera. If I feel like it's too much, I'm not gonna carry the camera. But yep, good night. Hey y'all, it's the next day. We left the hotel, we're at the Airbnb. So I'm about to give y'all a quick little tour before I get dressed and freshened up for the day. We got reservations at Nikki Beach at 3.30. We wasn't able to get like the little day beds or the cabanas. So we're just gonna like eat there and get drinks because they be booked up. So I guess that's something you have to book in advance before coming. But I've always wanted to go there, the vibes, the aesthetic. At least we were able to get a table. So let me show y'all. The Airbnb. Were we downtown Miami? This is the kitchen. Nothing extra. I haven't even seen the whole thing myself. I'm just not walking up. I haven't looked at the rooms. Then you have your living room. Pretty spacious dining area. You got a mirror right there that's huge. I like that. You can see your outfit. The TV area, that's cute, the low white. And then is another mirror right here with the couch. You also have a balcony. Is that a mirror out there? Yeah. On the damn balcony. I could probably show them that last. All right. So then you walk over here. Who room is this? This is Claudia room. So pretty cute. What is this? Like the closet? Yeah, pretty spacious. My girl is already in there on the balcony enjoying the views. You enjoying the views already? <laughs> Dang, look how spacious the, um, is this the balcony or what? Yeah, the balcony, that's all it is. The mirrors though, that is cute. Look at the view, I'm scared. Oh my God, look at this y'all. Right, the mirror thing right there is cool. All right, so that's Claudia's room. And y'all see her enjoying her view. So then, what's this stuff though? Uh, just laundry, what's that? I like these little like frosted doors. Damn, y'all yeah, bathroom cold. So this is the bathroom. I always like little sinks like this. Glass door shower. Cute. J room. Where are your light? He trying to let he sleep. What the? Ain't got no light in here. That's the light. Oh yeah, I don't know about this damn light. He acting. What's in here? The closet. Yeah, they light should have been better in here. All right, <laughs> then we go in here, which is me and Zay room. It's cute. I probably suck at explaining stuff. I like the little nude vibes going on. They got like a little desk. Zay do got his laptop out here. He be down editing all the time, so I guess that's for him. I'm so obsessed with this view. Let's see what the bathroom giving. I like how they got mirrors everywhere. I'm ready to goddamn change into something new, y'all. Okay, this closet cute. Probably gonna unpack my stuff in here. This closet is cute. Let's give an Ikea. It look like my closet at home. This is the bathroom. Oh, look at this tub. That's cute. Then the sink. I look at that in the mirror, you cute. 
<laughs> warmers, the glass shower. This bathroom is cute. I like how the toilet right there. Oh no, it just look awkward. Now they usually be having it like in a um, closed up little room. All right, so this is the bathroom, y'all. I think I showed everything or tried to. Cause I gotta hurry up and shower. It's already like 2.30. Um, I already know what I'm wearing. So I'm about to shower, freshen up, and I will most likely show y'all what we are wearing today. At the Airbnb, um, it's actually just us four. We went our separate ways with Karen because she's meeting up with a friend. She went with her friend today. She just got picked up. So now it's just gonna be us four. And then she's basically like, you know, with the person she came to meet up with. And yep, let's get dressed. Let's get cute. And let's get ready to enjoy Miami. All right, so I'm rushing. So I just got on the body outfit and then these jean shorts, my campers. And to go with it, this little tail fur. So the shorts is mainly just the cover up. Then I'm gonna add some hoops in the car because I'm rushing. So yeah, quickly low O O T D. Don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. I just want a rough neck, nigga on the tongue. Bitch, you just want to send me automatic with a drum. Ask me if I'm finished, nah, bitch, I just begun. I ain't giving out no nutty to no nigga just for fun. Are you dumb? Uh uh. Who's the man? I don't know no other man. You like a hundred niggas just for a hundred bands. What? I don't even got me a hundred pins. I'm still gonna make me a hundred M's with a hundred plans. Give me that song. Extendo. I carry just like a prego. Get around with nigga call. Switch back to Henny. Cheers. What was that lightning? We about to die. Round two. Cheers. Hey y'all, we are back from the last bar y'all seen us at. So Nikki Beach. We didn't really do much today. We went to Nikki Beach. That was at 3. It was pretty much because we had to transfer from hotel to Airbnb, get settled in, get ready, go to the Nikki Beach. We was there till like down 5. Went to the little bar. We was there till 9. And then it's like really, really bad traffic. And we're just not getting back. And it's about to be 11. Like when I say we was in this Uber for down there an hour, it was bad. Um, Nikki Beach was a vibe. Like I told y'all, we wasn't able to like book the little day beds or the cabana. So whenever I come back to Miami, I definitely want to do it. Where I book it in advance and get like a little day bed or a cabana. 
it was just a vibe the it just feels like you out the country like tulum type vibe it don't feel like you in miami it was cute my salmon was actually really really good i actually don't like coconuts i don't know if i ever told y'all so i literally just got that coconut because i wanted some pictures in it and the drinks we got some mojito pretty good strong and good so overall i would rate it you know good enough for everybody to go check it out and see for yourselves um then we went to some lola bar zay found that but we had got some mojito and it was like literally juice it tastes like literally juice so i was like yeah scratch that we about to just change it to hennessy shots like i be trying to get cute little drinks and try different stuff but at heart i'm a hennessy girl and this trip is mainly like just turning up and drinking y'all probably like damn they just been drinking that's all it's gonna be really we just want to turn up have fun i've been to miami plenty of times we've done little activities i've got on the jet skis before i've only been to the club once though so like, i feel like i haven't really enjoyed like miami like yeah like nightlife turning up life like i just came here plenty of times but i just ain't really got the little turning up life so yeah i wasn't 21 so i wasn't really able to get i mean get in many places so that's what this trip is we just want to turn up as much as we can so now we're about to go to this club that's open down 24 hours we're actually going to pre-game first pre-game here with our um bottle get lit enough and then go there it's only seven minutes away from our airbnb um i'm gonna actually change probably retouch my makeup and just try to look a little more fresh and i'm gonna change into just some simple black dress and then i will check in with y'all once we start pre-gaming tell them what's wrong i look kind of big oh yeah i look kind of big right now so i'm gonna do a couple of quick seconds what kind of push us is that that's something that we can't play no little youtube oh, oh, you got, then you got the remote to the tv Bruh. Yeah, that TV, I got a YouTube. This Claudia Club Fit, show them. Stand up. Club Fit. Putting on. So mm -hmm. now, I don't know. I think I look too extra. Yeah, I look like. Oh, I didn't even show y'all. I just got this dress on from Sheen. I got two little splits. And it's a little stretchy material to dance. That last place was still a they gave us mojitos that tasted like juice. Game it. Oh, the club we're going to is open 24-7, y'all. Like, they never close. What's the name? So yeah, when the 11, yeah. So what time y'all think we're leaving? As long as... Who, At eight. who the last person that get drunk? Me. So it's whenever Zay... No, him. Whenever Zay feel drunk or Jay... Jay never, never got drunk. And I'm never going to get drunk. It I usually be Jay, Jonah, and me, but I don't... And Karen, Jonah, I don't just... I don't pass... I don't make going out sad you recently. You and Jonah. Karen, too. Karen, you a part of Yeah, y'all. I don't know what's going on. That's why I told them our in my top, last vlog that orders. I need a detox. She was drunk last time. We last party we just had. Karen time. left us for D. I tried to save it. Karen yeah, left us for D. care about it, but you are. That other hit me, but nobody had grabbed it. <laughs> you like Santana and never let go of a purse. Big Alexander Wayne, y'all see it. Y'all ain't got this. We done made it to the club. Y'all see how we look? Yeah, we got our little outfit on. Look at that. 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 Look He's a no, no need if you go down. Bitch, I'm stylish. Glock talk, big t-shirt, Billy. Got on my wrist, but I want that diamond. Niggas talk crazy when I pull up his sight. Mile high, bring that shit back, bitch, I'm stylish. Glock talk, big t-shirt, Billy. Got on my wrist, but I want that diamond. Niggas talk crazy when I pull up his sight. Mile high, hey, hey, first hey, 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 Everything I wanted is some extra. I am not the type of turning into a detective. Got two on my own phone, barely even check them. Uber used to food, I don't call, I just text them. Cashed out on bail, my little bitch got a vest. Flexed out my Lexus, no bags, so no best. So check it, no gasters, so don't text. Hey, two pistols, 30s in the clip, these are Kimbo's. Open hands, smack him in his mid, bitch, I'm Kimbo. You be throwing cash on the strip, my little bitch, sucking dick for the free. I got a bitch, but a bitch ain't got me. I know she trip when I dip, so I. They bitch and pillow talking about me like I'm sweet And she ain't know this shit Three bits in my motherfucking teeth Bitch, I'm stylish Got to talk to me 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 Got to
Hey y'all, we just got back to the Airbnb. Man, that club was whack. It's 4.30 in the morning. I'm about to take my contacts off and go to sleep. But yep, that club was whack. Disappointed. We gotta find something like our vibe. Hopefully tomorrow. Good morning, y'all. Not even good morning. Good afternoon. Went to sleep at down five in the morning. I woke up at 1 p.m. It's about to be two, it's 1.30. I'm about to shower. We got reservations at Bacon B. Um, I've been wanting to go to that spot every time we come to Miami, but it just always be like so booked. So we finally made a reservation, but it ain't till four. So by the time I'm done getting ready and doing my makeup and stuff, it'll probably be that. Jay and Zay went and got on the jet skis cause Jay ain't never got on them. I already got on it twice, so I've already experienced it, so I don't really care to get on it. It's fun, it's not that bad, I just, I already done it. So I'm gonna most likely get ready with y'all, like do my makeup and stuff. But yep, just wanted to let y'all know, I'm up, feeling good, ready for the day. Hey y'all, so I'm freshened up. I put my PJs back on, cause I mean, I just slept in it, and I didn't really bring like too much sleeping clothes. So it's, I don't know if it's dark. It's another light in here, but it comes with a fan, so it's loud. Unless I just speak up. First thing I do, I'm gonna conceal my acne while I um do my edges or like little dark spots. I do my edges before makeup because then when the makeup on there and you start putting the gel, it'll be taking the makeup off. So I just do it before and if it get messed up while I'm doing makeup, I just go over it. I haven't practiced the full beat like what we did with Pam. I just feel like probably on vacation will be the right time. Because it'll probably take forever. And then it's really hot, so it's like natural and barely some makeup is better than a full face out here. Alright, so the edges is done. After that, I just blend out the concealer that I put that's just been sitting. If you're from Miami or been to Miami, comment down below things or places y'all think I will enjoy like for maybe next time I come out here. So after that, we just put the foundation on top. I just be putting like little dots. Y'all be asking me my shade is Warm Honey and then it's 322. Pam actually gifted me the Fenty foundation for my birthday. I just haven't tried it out. I need to try it out because I heard her foundations is really good do like that just like dots everywhere so then just grab the extra product on the hand and then just blend i'm really excited to try this place out because i've been wanting to go for a minute like i said and just the concept of it is cool i think they call you the beware when you walk in or like i don't know <laughs> i'm not sure if they just do like brunch food or if it's like after a minute it's like lunch i don't know what i'm getting all right i grab my phone so we can play some music get the vibes going i wish i could take a shot right now but rule number not not, not even number one but rules when drinking do not drink on an empty stomach and do not mix the liquor if you don't want to go outside yeah i was Telling Zay and them like I ain't been a finger licking yet and usually when I come to Miami as soon as I touch down That's the first thing I get like what? So we definitely getting some licking today I'll be skipping right to Nikki Park Check the bank account, let me see what I can spare. You ain't nothing but your show, Liz. You my dog and I love you. Yeah. 
shirt is skims the skirt is sheen rick's diesel bag i want the orange if y'all watched my last vlog and we got gold jewelry of course i got my nana rings just like a simple cute little fit it's the skirt for me that's the main attraction the skirt so yeah make sure y'all go follow my instagram because i'm about to be taking some cute pictures out here it's currently 3 45 and we're supposed to already be on uber heading to here with zay and jay still not back i'm gonna end up leaving which is claudia and they're gonna have to miss out but she's still getting ready too so i don't know y'all hopefully we don't miss the reservations for this i will update y'all probably when we head out if we make it or not i hope we do we in the uber we late because of these guys. We ain't even late. We got a reservation for five. He made five. three reservations, y'all. Four, four, four thirty, and five. It is four thirty. Right. So I guess we're gonna make it to the five one. It's five o'clock, and we just not leaving the house. Well, us two, because they've been out. Claudia looking cute. Fit. Well, I mean, we gotta come home at six. Morning, morning, girl. In the morning. Shut like I'm about to go camping. <laughs> Um, we gonna actually do a little party bus later. I forgot to mention. We met some guy last night and his bus looked lit. His name was Jorge. So we're probably gonna do that around 8. But I'm starving so I'll see y'all once we get to bacon. Slam them down, get it, blood, no, I don't care. After that mission park, the track fuck in the back and 
fix her. later since y'all last seen me but the restaurant we went to bacon b was not all that it's definitely overhyped the concept is cute the menu and stuff like the concept of it is cute food was pretty basic like this thing i got it was pretty basic um we didn't get our drinks until we was done with our food yeah everybody else said it was like all right it wasn't nothing crazy the party bus was supposed to be at 8. It's 8.08. Yesterday, they was like, it's 40 each person. So we're like, okay, it's only four of us. So we booked it for 8. And then they called literally an hour before at 7. Talk about they can't do it because we need to have 15 people. Why y'all didn't say that yesterday? Why y'all didn't say that today? Like, why did y'all wait one hour before? And we was like, okay, like, basically we'll pay for the 11 people that's not even here. Because we still want to do it. And then they was like, all right, or whatever. And then they just called a few minutes ago talking about they can't find a driver or a DJ. The bus looked lit yesterday when we seen it. It was just like um, a bus with no windows. They had like a DJ in the back. It was like really colorful. They was just unprofessional because why y'all wait the last hour to say it had to be 15 people. And we were still down to even pay, you know, even though we didn't have 15 people. And then y'all talk about y'all don't have a driver and DJ like, mm hmm. So now we gotta find some new plans since that got ruined. I don't know what we're about to do. We're about to figure it out. But, yep, we're back at the Airbnb and it's 8 p.m. We're supposed to be on the down bus right now. I'm mad because I was really looking forward to it. So I will keep y'all updated on what we end up doing. Hey y'all, so we just not leaving the Airbnb. Uh, the Uber is outside. We down been pre-gaming. I don't know if you can tell by my face. I'm feeling them shots. These places just drinks be so weak. It's just not like strong enough for us. So we was like, we just gonna drink our Henny. We about to go to some lounge called Victory. Victory, I don't know if there's more to it. Supposedly they said it's a little lit lounge. So we about to go ahead and try it out. We just not leaving. We done down been pre-gaming for a little minute. Oh, look at the dog. What's your dog? Bruce? 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 Bruh, Bruce? Come on. Yeah. Bruce look better than her. Her name, her dog named Bruce Key, though. Let me, let me show y'all a picture of Bruce. Hold on, From the other day? Yup. They was on live eating Bruce up. Nah, they was saying my boy was handsome. Before they saw him. How you don't even have a picture of your dog? They talking to four lifers. They acting funny because we on vacation. That's what I'm saying. He don't even got a picture of his own dog. Where we at? Y'all, in this damn place we staying at, look, 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 look. It's on some damn police. Police. It's on some police stuff. Basically, they had to get your hand. What is it called, Zay? The fingerprints of your hand for you to even be able to get in here. Me and Claudia couldn't do it because of our nails. So they keep thinking somebody trying to like sneak in here. But they cool. They them. They cool. Security. They think somebody trying to get in here because basically the lady was like Jay and Zay got a scam for y'all because of y'all nose. That's Jay dog. Nah, that's my that's, dog. Uh, oh. Yeah, so they had a scam for us. So they trying to make it seem like somebody trying to break in here. But we about to get in the Uber. I'll see y'all once we get the. Lord, we done been disappointed today with the party bus. Me, my boy George. I hope we get in and not, not get in, George. but I hope it's lit. All right, hopefully it's lit, y'all. Victory. All right, we made it in. 
It look cute in here. Look at the vibes. Victory. So we got some Hennessy drinks. They finally got Hennessy. Cheers. That's strong. That's that's liquor. Tired of being tired. That part of me to die. I admit that I'm rich and I'm lit. They got some teriyaki wings. One through ten. Detroit in the building. Cheers. Round three. Going to try make you feel some type of way. Is it cause my home is rich? You feel some type of way. Okay, let me get three mac chickens. Three small fries. Large high sea fruit punch. And let me get an apple pie and that'll be all. We at McDonald's okay. before the club. We at club space. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We're going to try to go in and see what the vibes is. Hey, y'all. It is the next day. So first thing we're doing today is getting some finger licking because... We didn't realize they closed so early yesterday. They closed at um, 11, I guess, because it's, it's Sunday. We said forget brunch, forget anything else. We want finger licking. I'm already dressed, but I'm currently waiting on camera because she wanted me to do some little makeup on her. So I'm waiting on her to pull up, but I'm already dressed to head out. Let me show y'all my outfit. Oh, I got lip fillers, y'all. Hey, look. I'm just playing. I put the um, this lip gloss called Lip Injection, so it basically like plumps your lip. My lips already big, so this just make it look like extra. I don't know if y'all realize, but they look more plumped. Let me show y'all my fit. So we got on my Juicy Set short version. Y'all know I love Juicy, so uh, summer version. Had to. We got the pumps let me grab this stuff so i'm wearing it with my dior bag and then with these chanel frames that are literally the same color as the bag so this is today's fit and i try to do like a little different hairstyle i think it look cute so Yeah, that's my outfit. Today is basically our last full day in Miami because tomorrow we fly out. Not too early, but early. So let's see what today brings. I will see y'all once we get to my spot figure licking. We made it to the what? Finally some good food. <laughs> Cheers. We got the mystery drink with Hennessy. <laughs> My pasta not here yet, but Zay got baked chicken, right? Zay got the same thing. Claudia got fried shrimp, and I ain't got nothing. <laughs> My pasta is out. It look good, like always. Fifty thousand murders. We made it to Grail. It's the sneaker like little lounge spot. And last time I came, I said I was gonna have sneakers. The next time I come and look, 
I don't got sneakers on again. They have a new thing called the extra large sneaker. That's the one we get in. Y'all, we had to do damn tequila. That's what it looked like. Chug, 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 chug.
Hey y'all, it is four in the morning. We just got back to the Airbnb. The last place we went to was called like the Dirty Rabbit, the Rabbit Sun. It was pretty lit. I will go back. So we was trying to go to Mango's, the first place we went to the first night, if y'all remember, cause it was pretty lit. And it said it closed to five. So we pulled up and they talked about they closed. And it was like three in the morning, so. I don't know why y'all say y'all close at five and y'all don't. I don't like that. So yeah, we were still trying to be out and be late, but they ain't let us in. We was at that place since like eight to three in the morning. And then we tried to go to Mango's and then they said that we couldn't get in, that it was closed. Like, what? I don't know. We had grabbed McDonald's and just made it back. We gotta be at the airport, like heading towards the airport, like 11 in the morning. So I'm about to take my contacts off, wipe my makeup off. And try to go to sleep. I don't feel sleepy right now, but try to force myself to go to sleep. But overall, the place we was at was lit. I had a good time. The sneaker place was lit too. Um, the drink, it was like, it gave me like a little buzz. But then they started playing like music that just wasn't my vibe. And I feel like when I'm drinking, like I want to dance. Like when I'm drinking, I want to dance. And if you're not playing like what I want to listen to or if it's not what I want to listen to, it just like kills my whole vibe. My buzz just left. So that's why we went to that other place. We had to get tequila because that's what we was on. And like I told y'all, I don't like mixing. McDonald's was good. <laughs> I got it on my juicy ketchup. So I just wanted to update y'all. We made it back. We had fun. I will most likely talk to y'all once we wake up and we're heading back home. Listen, seeing you got ritualistic Plans in my soul of addiction for now Cause I'm falling apart Yep, yeah. Tension between us just like big fences You got issues that I We're back We back home y'all Sadly the trip has came to an end I done down put Zay hoodie on And then messed my outfit up y'all We made it safely thank you God The trip was fun Y'all seen that we had a bowl For right now I'm about to lay down Because if you know I'm do not fall asleep on a plane. I don't fall asleep in a car. So I've just been up. Everybody else been napping on a plane, been napping in a car. And I ain't napped at all. So I'm going to just lay down and chill. I just need a rest real quick, y'all. But I just wanted to let y'all know we made it back. So I will see y'all when I see y'all. Hey, y'all. Welcome back. It is the next day so y'all when we got here i told y'all didn't know if i was gonna go to sleep i would say it was around maybe 6 p.m knocked out and i didn't wake back up to the morning time so we pretty much was sleep like the whole day since we had got back from the airport it's already later at night it's 8 p.m i pretty much just been in bed editing plus i started my cycle like that's perfect time and i started my cycle a day after the trip was over so Thank you, God, for that because I would have been sick if I started my cycle in Miami. I got so much on my plate right now, y'all. I feel so stressed. I got my mama birthday vlog, which I started on it before I left, so it's, like, not that much. I'll pretty much be done with that tonight or tomorrow, so that's kind of already out the way. We got our anniversary vlog. We celebrated our anniversary a little more later, so we still got that vlog. Zay's been out of town, so we haven't really got to it. Then I got to start on the Miami vlog. Then I got to film a Sheen haul. Cameron also started on the vlog so that means i just have to like review her it's not really much edit because she knows how to edit her own videos now so it's just a lot going on i got contacts appointments soon i got another appointment soon and then we also got to go to detroit soon because zay mom is having surgery still got to unpack the clothes from miami my closet is a disaster from packing gotta clean that up it's just a lot i feel so stressed i don't know if it's because my cycle making it worse but i feel so stressed I'm actually about to go to my mom's house. She made us sofas, like, basically for welcome back. My mom is extra, and I see where I get it from. So she wanted to do us a welcome home meal. My girl did the sofas, so we're about to pull up on her. I just threw on this little tee, and I got this skirt from Sheen that I didn't get to wear in Miami. It's, like, a little longer. Let me see if y'all can see it. Let me fix. Excuse this closet. This closet is too. 
So this the skirt. I'm gonna put some sneakers on with it. I'll probably put my sneakers that I had on for the airport yesterday, yesterday to be honest. So we're about to go eat. If I have the energy when we get back, we're gonna unpack. I gotta show y'all these new Lorvay um, glasses that I got, they ordered me. Y'all yeah, really feeling the editing tips and since I'm editing right now, I might give y'all some more editing tips because last time I was cutting up and right now I'm like at the part where I added my edits, my music. I feel like I'm about to get some cramps so hopefully it doesn't mess up me about to eat sopas because this is like my top three favorite meal that my mom makes my damn mind is going crazy so i just need to take one thing at a time i just be overthinking and just putting so much on myself like girl just relax so i'm gonna relax go eat some good food at my mama's i'm gonna see y'all once i get there we made it to pedro's ew Look at Karen play, y'all. Heaven. So my plate is ready also. Look at that. Cheers. Ten out of ten. So face cheer. I'm going in. Mm. Boneless sopas. <laughs> J plate. What you got? Different kinds. Mm -hmm. You gonna eat three? I'm already full. But that's because my stomach hurting. Claudia plate. She's a avocado. Have joined the chat? He loves sopas. <laughs> <laughs> I usually eat three, but my stomach hurts, so I'm on the end, too. Hey, y'all. Made it back. Before I get in my little sleeping clothes, so I'm get to editing. I'm about to show y'all the package I was telling y'all about, but before, Tammy bought me some stuff. She always down getting me Spongebob stuff. These is some freaking ice cubes, y'all. Ice cube tray at Spongebob. I'm like, what? This is so cute. Then she got me... A SpongeBob shirt that's a damn freaking driver license <laughs> that I ain't got. She said she thought it was funny, so that's cute as well. Zay bought me some Lorve. This is her packaging. This is her birthday drop, and I just thought it was so damn unique. I'll keep my packaging here on the turn. Y'all know my girl don't play about her packaging. The details. That's cute. So it's a silver box because the shades is actually silver as well. I do keep the box in case like I'm going on a trip or whatever. So the whole, everything like that usually says Lorbe is all in silver to match the glasses, I guess. So let's take them out. When I had seen them, I was like, a medium guess. <laughs> and take all this plastic off. Yes, she ate with these. So I actually have like some glasses like this, but what really like just stood out to me is the, okay, there we go. Like, do y'all see that? That is so freaking creative. Let's try them on. When I wear these, I need to like, I don't know, have my hair like up. I love these. Let me get my sleeping clothes so we can go into editing mode. Okay, so. If you watched that one vlog where I was giving editing tips, then y'all already know where I showed y'all how to like cut. We edit off of Adobe Premiere Pro, if you don't know. So I've already cut up my whole project. This is my whole project. Everything y'all see right here is like my footage. And it's an hour and 20. All the extra stuff y'all see like this, that, that's the edits. I like to add the date and what I'm doing that day always like for each new day so what you want to do is you go to essential graphics and you search up what you're looking for so right here i will put like titles and basically all of the little different ones will pop up as y'all can see it says 334 pages some of them cost money 
which you have to have like a account with the with premiere pro so some of them come with it like some cost money but some come with your account so you're probably able to get like 20 a month then the ones that got the check mark that means they're free or some that got check, check marks are probably the ones i've already like got and as you can see these are like the essential graphics this is where you put your titles it shows you all the different ones that come with it as y'all can see like the different fonts and stuff so when you choose the one you want, you just drag it to the timeline and it lets you customize it. So as y'all can see, it says edit, edit text. So I put mama Australia birthday, then text two, then I put the date. So that's what you see right there. And it's like so many options you can choose from. Those are just the ones on Adobe. Basically, these are the ones I've already like used or brought to the timeline. So let me show you some of my favorite ones. I like this one. It's called Background Paint Vlog Title. If you do decide to use like, you know, Premiere Pro. I'm showing y'all like my favorite ones. This is one that I use like a lot. Bold Title. So all this stuff right here is like stuff that I've already used. And when you use these, you're also able to change the fonts on them right here. You're able to make it bold. You're able to change the sizes and all of that. The color this over here is for you to move it this top one that says position is for you to move it left or right this one is for you to move it up and down scale is for you to make it bigger or smaller i'm very detailed when it comes to my edits so you don't got to do all of this i just like to add extra stuff these little subscribe things um zay actually does these for me these little custom ones you basically just look up on YouTube, subscribe, green screen, and you customize it. I personally don't know how to do them, so I exited to do them. So, that's that. Right here, like tagging people. You just press the T on here, and then it like pops up, and you can just text whatever you want. And same thing with this. Like, you can change the font, all of that. Music let me turn that around so music tammy does the music she finds the music for all of our vlogs um i'll try to link down below the video where she's explaining like showing y'all how she does it i just know she does it off soundcloud i don't do the music so and if y'all be seeing like the little custom like i said like the scribes the when i do the instagram tags zay does my edits i do like the edits that already come on premiere pro because like this is the easy stuff the stuff like that's custom and stuff zay does all of that for me and i like to match my stuff with whatever is going on in the video like let's say my subscribe thing i got on red and that clip i'll tell zay to make it red like you could do different colors when i'm doing my instagram tags like tagging my family members i like to also match it up like with what's going on so like for example when i did my movie night and it was the black panther thing i had zay do the instagram edits with like a little movie popcorn thing the black panther logo we had the Bratz party. I had Zay make me lo Instagram logos and it had the Bratz logo. It was the Bratz, the Bratz font. When I had my Barbie theme party, I had him do like Barbie theme or like Spongebob theme. I don't know if y'all be peeping that type of detail, but like the custom stuff, Zay does it. But I always like to match it with what's going on in the video. I don't know. I'm extra. So, yep. <laughs> when you ask Nana, where's the video? Nana's, where's the videos? Girl, I'm over here trying to be extra with my damn edits and i just love creating content like the montages the music the edits like just the final all put together like before it's just be like a whole bunch of hours of just clips but like the cutting and putting it together and just doing it the editing the way i like adding all the small stuff the music i just love it and i can be extra with it it doesn't just take me one day to edit like it takes me multiple days to a week to edit because I'm just so extra. And if you know, most of my videos are an hour to two hours. And I just really like to put my all into it. I don't know. I just love doing the editing. Like I said, I just really love creating content. Like, it's literally what I love to do. So, I always like to put my all into it. I do not like to half do it. And I added, like, the little pictures on here just so y'all can know what I'm talking about. And I got this edit off of Premiere as well. It's called Polaroid. You just look it up and it lets you add the picture. Like added the pictures just so y'all can know what I'm talking about. So this is as far as I got today. Where was I? I was at after I was like. So I'm about to keep adding edits. And when something new pops up that I'm about to add, I'm going to show y'all how I do it. Alright, so right here. Hopefully I can see it's kind of hard to edit with both hands. 
so right here i'm mentioning a person that did some custom stuff for me so i want to tag them so you know people can go check them out so on the left side y'all can see me moving it to the right just because on that part is bright and over here you're able to see it so what i did was copy and paste the one i've already did for pam just because i don't think i'm gonna be tagging a lot of people on this vlog because it's just mainly about my mom you literally just type like the person i think her instagram was is rare so it's rare two underscore events let me make the e bigger and as y'all can see it don't fit so move it to how you like we'll put custom party favors also let me know if y'all want like the tips the ones i was telling you about how they make the custom subscribe stuff the custom subscribe instagram edit so maybe like the next vlog i could show i could tell him to show y'all how he does that stuff and give y'all tips on that stuff then i put this click sound i got this sound off youtube so you just look up on youtube mouse click sound effect and it just like does the sound effect when stuff show up audio gain is to make something louder so i want it louder so i'll put like five you can also turn stuff down so when you go to audio gain you would just put like negative five if you want to so from rare the person that so i want it a little over and you just keep doing it until you like it so from rare the person that always do my custom stuff she made me custom napkins as you can see you know i'll probably like drag out over here oh yeah if you want to make stuff longer like as y'all seen i just dragged it you could drag it like that and it will usually stop at the end of the clip that's right there and like the edit looks so simple and that just took me it says right here on the camera three minutes and 40 seconds just on that little edit and we got all this to go so i will keep updating y'all once i add more edits okay right here i just clicked something i wasn't supposed to click and it like my whole thing just disappeared so i just text zay because i'm like i know how to edit but like some stuff i don't know so then i usually text zay when i mess up and then he come figure out what the hell i done damn messed up on why you telling that i came in with you then did i had just clicked um effects like twice yeah, I kind of know how to get out of it. I just clicked this up here twice and then I did that. Yeah, like made it way bigger. <laughs> yeah, so they got it back. So this is stuff over here that already comes with Premiere Pro, which is effects, essential graphics. I think on the only thing we really use from over here is effects. So under your effects, you get you get all of this. But from what we really use is audio transitions. So on the songs in the beginning, I like to put constant gain and then exponential fade. That makes the song like fade out nicely. Then you have your video transitions. So this is all the stuff you add over here. And it comes with a lot, y'all. My favorite ones I like to use is dip to black, dip to white. I like to use this one that says channel switch. I like to use this whoosh one and I put like a little whoosh sound effect. That's the one I'm actually about to use. I like to use push slide. You just have all of these different ones. So what I'm actually about to use is whoosh. Because basically I just went from some place to another place. But it was really just because it's been like a few hours that I'm using it. But I usually like to add transitions when it's like a different setting so what you want to do is drag it on the timeline and put it in between the two clips like where you basically want the transition at so yeah it's pretty bad that's the way that transition looks okay so yeah seeing i added the transition between those two clips so what i went to is down here where it says finder and this is basically like the stuff that I already have like downloaded and just stuff like that. So I will go to download and I will search whoosh. Make sure it's under download, not this Mac. And this is just a sound effect that I already have downloaded from 
YouTube and this is what it's called. It's called 10 Free Cinematic Whoosh. Let me try to set y'all down. Okay, so you would drag this over here. Over here is all the videos, like all my videos, everything that I have added to this project, all the different clips, all of that. Anytime you want to add something to your project, you will always have to send it over here. So this is whoosh. This you find the one you're going to use. I just always use this one, so I already know I've used sound 12. So to get uh, audio from like over here, as y'all seen, I double clicked it. This is for you to mark in and this is for you to mark out. So it gives you the option to drag the video right here. Y'all see it says drag video only. It would drag like this part, like what y'all seeing. Then it gives you an option to drag audio only. So that's what I want. I just want the audio. I don't want the, you know, the video. So I would drag the audio only right under that whoosh transition that y'all just seen me do. And this is what it looks like fully done with the sound effect and everything. Okay, unbox it. Y'all, it's pretty good. So that's so how you do. Unbox it. Yeah, it's pretty so that's how you do little transitions. And y'all see like that's just so simple and I had to really like just it's a lot that goes into it, y'all. Hey y'all, it's one in the morning. I just finished my mom's first day footage, like adding my edits. Um I showed you how to do that. I added a song. Songs is the same way you get them from Finder. You drag them over here and you mark the mark in, mark out. And you just drag it over here. Depending if it's loud, you audio gain it. You put the constant gain, the fade, all of that. Like this little montage, I'm in love. Zay filmed it for me. But just like putting it together. So if y'all can see like this side has all that stuff. And then like this is the side that doesn't have edits. It's one in the morning. I'm I think I want to just go ahead and call it a night because I don't want to be up too late and then mess up my sleep again because it kind of got fixed last night because I woke up at 11 and just get right to it as soon as I wake up again and I'm pretty sure I will be done with this like in the morning time because I don't have much left. I pretty much just have her second day left and then like me packing for Miami. Zay already started on the anniversary vlog. I think he's close to done so most likely by tomorrow we're going to have two videos out the way so that's good but i might just edit for like 20 more minutes and then i might call it a night if y'all want to know more tips and like what specific stuff y'all want to learn just comment down below and i could just show y'all in a future video but for right now good night y'all hey y'all welcome back i have been ghost for a few days but i didn't just want to leave y'all hanging so i'm back I just been catching up on editing and just life overall I just felt like it's just been non-stop on go and just like a whole bunch of turning up they cutting grass outside so excuse that i'm trying to talk a little loud and before i left if you watched my last vlog i told you i wanted to go on a detox so i just been letting my body recharge getting some rest sleeping and stuff like that today is actually my contacts appointment and if you know you know i've been waiting for this for a minute because when i called them they down gave it to me like a whole month out i just need them to tell me what's my new prescription because if you don't know people like that wear glasses and stuff like that our vision gets worse every year it's always different and for me ever since i've been a little girl it's just always gotten worse and worse um i've been talking to karen about looking into the lasik i think it's called surgery comment down below if anybody done got it before i just don't know like what's the side effects like once we get older i know it works and stuff and you get your vision back but what is it gonna be like once you get older and stuff like that so i don't know i told her we was gonna look into it because this glasses stuff contact stuff it's just too much to be honest it's always been too much since i've been a little girl it, i just always hated it i just always felt like glasses took away from my face yeah we got contacts appointment today at 220 it's currently like 150 so i'm rushing a little bit and then today tammy is doing taco tuesday because it is tuesday and we're also going to celebrate cinco de mayo early because i won't be here on cinco de mayo so like I told you, I would be going to Detroit because Zay mom is having a surgery. So it's like a serious surgery. It has something to do with her back. I don't really want to like, you know, put too much of her information out there. But she's been having some serious back problems and she's just been uncomfortable in pain for a minute. So we just pray and hope that this surgery gives her some type of relief. And I told her I was going to be there for the surgery. And I told Zay I was going to be there for him as well. And he's always there for me whenever I got anything going on or just period so 
I'm gonna make sure to be there for them. I actually have to fly out alone because Zay is already in Detroit. Cause Cameron said she was gonna come with me, but she got some stuff going on, so she's not gonna be coming with me no more. Zay was like that I want him to come all the way back, and he flies with me. But I was like no, cause you know I, I thought Cameron was gonna come with me, but she's not. So I told him, and he was like that I want him to come back just so he can fly back with me but i'm like that's really like a waste of money most of all and waste of time and i just need to get over i don't even feel like i have a fear of traveling alone like as long as i know somebody's gonna be there on the other end to travel alone for one hour and then zape me at the airport i don't feel scared about it so i told him it was good because like what that's just a waste of time and money like i said so i will be flying out alone i'm gonna be flying out of greensboro airport which is way smaller than charlotte so i feel like I, it doesn't really make me nervous because it's like smaller and it's don't it don't be busy so it just be in and then you right at your gate and then i'm gonna be on the plane for an hour and then i'm gonna meet up with a so i should be good i don't really feel scared i have gotten on a plane twice before when i met up with zay the first time in miami and then this other time when i met up with him in detroit so this will be my third time like getting on a plane alone so i don't feel scared about it so i'm rushing i think tammy is gonna pick me up from my appointment because she also wants me to help her prepare for you know like today taco tuesday single de mayo love celebration uh i just feel like it's so much going on y'all i just i don't know i just need to breathe it's like just a lot um i just feel like my body needs a break so when we get back from detroit i don't know how long i'll be at in, in detroit her appointment is the fifth so i'm flying out the fourth and then probably be there a few days after you know to like take care of her and all that stuff so when we get back we're just gonna go in like reset mode grind mode because i really need it and i'm also on a little alcohol break because i told y'all like my body just needs a break the next celebration isn't until Jazir's first birthday, which is Jonah's and Weenie's son. They're, you know, doing a little big celebration for him. So I'm not going to drink no alcohol into then. I think I'll just give myself like one little pass. So I told Tammy she need to have mocktails today because I'm not drinking no alcohol. So, yep. I just been gone for a few days. I so just wanted to update you on what's going on right now. We about to go to contacts appointment. I'm about to put something on chill. And then I brought y'all last time. They pretty much just check your vision, see what you can see from afar. I always suck at it. Then they teach you how to put the context in. I already know how to do that, so I don't know if they still gonna do that. So yeah, I'll probably bring y'all on for a little bit of it, but it's probably gonna be quick. I'm about to just throw on like a sweatsuit or something. I don't know which one, dude. Which one do? Let me put an outfit on and then I'm gonna come back and show y'all. All right, y'all had to come downstairs to grab my jewelry. So I just got all my red skills because I didn't know what else to put on. And I just got all my Yeezy foams. I look like a damn red Power Ranger. And just my Louis bag. Hopefully my vision didn't get too worse from last year, y'all. But I'm running a little behind, so I'm most likely to see y'all once I get there. Claudia is giving me a ride. That's another thing I tell you about. My damn car don't work right now. If it ain't one thing, it's another. So I'm carless. So Claudia um gonna drop me off and then I think Tammy gonna pick me up. I don't know yet. So I'm about to head out. dilated i think that's what it's called where they put the drops so far they said much hasn't changed so that's good excuse my nail that's perfect there's not a much difference from last year so yep a little update i'm just waiting hey y'all probably look crazy and it's windy i just left my appointment I did the little thing on my eyes basically so i have to wear these sunglasses because my eyes are sensitive to the sun tammy not here yet so i'm actually about to walk over to the nail shop we be going to it's literally right here and get a damn pedicure because i need one i actually have a nail appointment tomorrow so i'm like might as well get my toes done but basically i can't even really see y'all with these shades they just gave me some stuff to put behind my glasses basically my contact stuff didn't really change it's still the same they gave me a few little pairs 
across the street. I'm going to tell y'all more about it once I get home or something or in the car because it's windy and I'm trying to walk to this damn nail shop. We walk in these streets alone. <laughs> Hopefully there's enough time for me to get a pedicure until Tammy get here. We walking up to the nail shop right here. Hopefully they can squeeze me in real quick. Honestly, I'm trying to stay focused. You must think I've got to be joking when I say I don't think I can wait. I just need it now. Let us move my way. I just need some deep. I just need some love. Tired of fucking with these nine niggas, baby. I just need a thug. Won't you be my plug, ayy? You could be the one, ayy. Get start with a handshake, baby. I'ma need more than a hug. Girls can never say they want it. Girls can't never say hi. Girls can't never say they need it. Girls can't never say nah. Girls can't never say nah. Girls can't never Hey y'all, I'm done with toes. I didn't even ask how long I'm supposed to keep these things in, but I just put it on again. I'm actually about to walk to Dario's it's over there. Cause I'm hungry. Let's grab some little lunch. Tammy um told me to text her when I was done with my pedicure. So I'm about to text her cause she like on the whole other side of the world. So it's gonna take her a little minute. So I got enough time to get lunch and all that. So yeah, I just went with regular white toes cause I've been doing French tip for like a long time. Dario's is literally right here. I don't know what I'm gonna get though. So we walking up to Dario's. Where the damn entrance at? I'm so used to doing drive through. So I'ma probably see y'all once I get my food and stuff, y'all. All right, y'all didn't get nothing crazy. Just a hot dog. I usually get two, but I just got one. But they fries and the jalapeno ranch, the best thing ever, with a cheer wine. I think this is my first time being out alone. Besides when I used to work and you know eat there alone, I need to start going out alone more often just spending time with myself look at them jalapeno chunks they hot dog be so good the cashier at Darius recognized me like that's crazy i've been eating here forever since we was younger also in miami i got recognized like four times and I suck when people recognize me because I'm so like awkward and shy. So I just be like, I don't know. And y'all be like, have a meet and greet. But I be shy, so how we gonna do a meet and greet, y'all? If I'm drunk, I ain't gonna care. So I might have to do like a meet and greet or some type of something like where we turn up together. We should do a party. That probably would be the best way to meet me and where I can be myself. <laughs> Not saying I can't be myself without alcohol, it's just I've always been really shy. So I feel like when you first meet me, like you don't really meet me because I'm not myself. Only the shy people get it. If you don't if you're not a shy person, y'all don't get it. Tammy on the way though. I'm just sitting here enjoying the view. This feels peaceful. I'm finally reunited with these girls. Tammy just picked me up to Zana. She gotta do some quick runs into Publix. Right, she said I was far. I told them you was on the whole other side of the world. And I still look goofy with these things on. They need to tell me to bring sunglasses next time. You like my sunglasses? So, yup. All right, y'all, so I made it to Tammy. So I just wanted to give y'all my contacts update, how my appointment went. So basically, nothing changed. Like my vision is the exact same it was from last year. Like I've never heard that. Every time I have to go get my yearly checkup, it always changes. So this year was the first time it don't change. They gave me five pairs and it was way cheaper my appointment this time. So what I usually do is just order them online. It's way cheaper. And then I changed to the ones that are daily. So after I wear them, I just have to throw them out. I was on the one that used to last for two weeks. So I will have to wear them throughout the two weeks. So basically after I was done for the day, take them out, clean them, make sure I'm storing them right. 
So this is gonna be way easier. I know y'all always hear me like, when I get home, huh, I still gotta take my contacts off, this and that. Basically, I don't gotta worry about going through that whole process of taking them out, cleaning them, putting them up. It's taking them out trash, and we're done. So that's way easier. So that's the contacts update. I'm at Tammy's, I'm about to help her set up. Her event is supposed to start at 6.30, it's currently 5-ish. So I'm about to just help her set up. Um, I just wanted to give y'all my contacts update. So I'm about to put these chips on this hat. These like colorful. All right, so I'm about to put the little cups together, like the little bottom piece. You gotta screw it on there. It's like a little rainbow color going on. I'm gonna do two of each color. Mango margarita sounds good, Tammy. Uh uh. No alcohol. Uh, I'm in love with you. You set me free. Is that yellow? Hold on, that's green. All right, y'all made all of these. I ain't show y'all don't pressure everybody not do Mexican corn. Mayo, cheese, tahini, and Tammy about to sprinkle the volunteer on here. <laughs> Do you have your tazan in the back? We done preparing everything. About to show y'all. So this table is drinks, spicy margaritas, mango. You got little chips with guac. And then over here, y'all already know, pink Tammy. This is her setup. So cute. She got a damn taco. No, <laughs> I don't know. This is so cute. Taco Tuesday. It's spicy. It's good. Ain't that a TikTok? Yeah, why is it spicy? My tacos is ready. My plate. Look at that. All the. I gave it a two just because Lana made it. I made the corn. How is it? <laughs> Bro, y'all lying. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Only Tammy will have pink tacos. Goddamn, I ain't never seen no pink taco before. <laughs> Cheers. Hey y'all, it is 3.40 in the morning. We just made it home. I'm about to go to sleep. My nail appointment is tomorrow, but it's not till 6.30 p.m. I've never had an appointment that late, but that's all she had available like last minute because I did hit her up last minute. So, because I'm not trying to be out here looking like this. I just lost one today. Every time we have some type of event, I lose a damn nail. My appointment isn't until 6.30 p.m. So that means I'm not going to be home till like 11.30 to 12 at night 12 in the morning so i need to wake up early to try to pack for detroit but we just not getting home so i don't know what time i'm gonna wake up to try to pack but detroit is gonna be more chill like i said it's like her surgery i don't really think we're gonna be doing nothing extra so i don't need to plan no outfits outfits i just need to you know take comfortable stuff and just enough outfits my 
flight isn't until also i'm not gonna be leaving charlotte thursday until like five o'clock 5 p.m they didn't have no early flights from greensboro so i didn't want to drive all the way to charlotte so if i don't wake up on time tomorrow we just gonna pack the day of i don't know but we home tonight was such a good time the food was amazing and tammy just always knows how to throw a good event we are home and i'll see y'all whenever i wake up tomorrow hey y'all i'm off my phone because i'm too damn lazy to get up to get my camera I fell asleep with my earrings on it's 4 p.m i do not know why i'm waking up this late i feel tired we did a lot of dancing so i think that's that's what it is so usually when Zay is out of town, I would sleep with Karen because I was just too scared to sleep alone. The last two weeks I've been sleeping alone just because I feel like I don't be trying to bother her or like get on her nerves. So I just was like, you need to try to, you know, sleep alone because how are you going to get over this or try to fix this if you don't take the first step to try to do something about it? So I have been sleeping alone, but I do sleep with the door locked. So the next step is trying to sleep with the door unlocked. So that's like a huge step. I haven't slept alone in a really long time ever since the incident. So yeah, I don't know if I'm about to just lay here into my appointment or try to get up and do something, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna pack. I don't know, y'all. I just wanted to show y'all that it's 4 p.m. and I'm just not waking up. Hey y'all, I got ready for my nail appointment. Chilling. So these basically the two gifts they gave me, the skim set, my Ricks. And he wanted me to wear it together, so I just put it on and it looked cute. Just a chill little look. Then I just added a little pop of color. So chilling. And then I did this hairstyle because I've been wearing my hair the same way the whole time. So I just did a little hairstyle. So, yep, this is my nail appointment fit. Let me show you something that I've been wanting to show y'all that Tammy and Karen did. They organized my skims drawer for me and so satisfying. Like color coordinated. I'm obsessed. Cause I had it looking crazy. Cause I had let it get junky for a little minute. So we was just over here one day and I asked her if she could organize it for me. So it was her and Karen. So cute. Just sitting here covering up my little pimples on my chin. The lighting in here is not the best in the daytime y'all. Cause it always does this. And one of my blinds don't work so I can't never open it. It's currently five o'clock. I told Tammy to come a little earlier so we could probably grab some little lunch. But she hasn't said nothing yet so I don't know if she gonna come. I'm ready to get my nails done though. I'm trying duck nails for the first time. And I'm doing like some gold rhinestone look. So I'm excited. So I'll keep y'all updated if we grab lunch or if we just get straight to nails. Normally I'm quick to switch up my face I might unpack my bag and I'm stationed I got what it takes to say this I got all the plays and I play it out like I, 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 I wanted to say this I, I, Something new. I don't know. 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 I
tired of hearing all your lies But I don't wanna leave you lonely So I come crawling back Hoping you won't be like that Hoping that you'll make a change So that I can stay done y'all seen i got the duck shape rhinestone go really like them it's currently 12 in the morning i'm just getting home tammy dropped me off i just want to lay down i don't even feel like packing i'm just feeling annoyed stressed like my life is just a mess right now i mean i'm human like every day isn't the best um i have to leave the house at 3 30 tomorrow so Packing on the day of is probably not the smartest thing but i'm gonna wake up early i'm not gonna let myself wake up late i'm aiming towards like 10 in the morning 11 in the morning wake up freshen up and pack for the trip and then head there i just feel like me not knowing how to drive a lot of times makes me feel feel useless like i just feel like i always gotta depend on people and at the end of the day there's nobody fault but mine's i'm just venting but i just feel like why did um god make me like so scared of the world or like I don't know how to explain it. Somebody useless. I don't want to be negative, but like a lot of times that's how I feel at the end of the day because I always got to, you know, depend on somebody and I just always feel scared. Why couldn't I be one of the people that is okay with being alone and doing stuff alone? Like it just gets overwhelming. I'm scared 24 7. Like I'm in my house. I feel like somebody's going to come in here. I'm out in the car, I feel like I'm gonna get in a car accident. I'm in the store, I feel like somebody gonna come shoot it up. Every second of my day, y'all, I'm scared. I always have this feeling that something bad is gonna happen, like, all the time. And it's so freaking, like, stressful, overwhelming to always feel like this. And I don't know why I feel like this. I just always feel like something bad is gonna happen. I just always feel scared of life. I just always feel scared. And I just wonder, do it get better or am I just going to feel like this like for the rest of my life? I want to be able to go out, be alone, and not feel like something bad is going to happen or feel like I just always got to be with somebody. But it's just like at the end of the day, it's all on you because you got to depend on people because you don't drive. So if you drove, you would be able to do this stuff. So it's like I'm just mad at myself. For a long time, I always felt like an outsider, like somebody that didn't have a talent, somebody that was just like useless, didn't really have a point in life and was just here to be here. And I thought I found my purpose, which I feel like my purpose is to help my family, help the people around me and just get us out of um, the usual of just struggle after struggle every generation, get us out of generational curses and I feel like I'm amazing at that. I feel like the only good thing I do or know how to do good is be there for my family. I just want to feel one day where I'm not scared of living. I feel like when I'm hanging out with my family, I'm good. I'm happy. When I'm doing YouTube and vlogging, I'm happy. But when it's just me in the room, alone like i'm not happy within myself if that makes sense i'm happy because of my family i'm happy because of y'all because you know i have something that i love compared to back then i always felt like like why the hell am i here in this world like i don't know how to do nothing like what am i good for so when i felt like i found something that i'm good for i put my all into it and I seen a difference in my life, started leveling up, starting to be able to be there for my family, help my mom out. And it's just like all of this stuff is amazing. I don't take it for granted. But it's just like at the end of the day when it's just me and I'm alone, I just go into like this dark, 
space, like dark thoughts. I just start having negative thoughts. I don't know, I think I'm hard on myself. I don't know, I'm just in my room right now alone, just venting, thinking, and that's just how I'm feeling. Just feeling really overwhelmed right now, really stressed. And it's just like, life could just be messed up because people, because I know I'm not the only person that, you know, everybody goes through problems, everybody feels this way. And it's just like, life is really messed up because at the end of the day, we still got to wake up the next day and we still got to figure out how we gonna have a roof on top of our head, food, be able to provide, handle everything we need to handle. Like, even if your days is bad, you still gotta wake up the next day and like just keep living through life no matter what you're going through. Because at the end of the day, the world doesn't stop for nobody. I wish we were allowed more breaks. Cause when you take a break, everything is still, everything still keeps going. Don't nothing wait for you. So you really don't have time to take a break because it's stuff that's waiting to be handled. You still got to make your money to survive. You still got to make your money to eat, to have roof on top of your head, to pay the bills, to take care of what you need to take care of. Like At the end of the day, there's no time to not be okay because you got to be okay to be able to wake up and you know make your money to be able to survive. It's just like a never-ending cycle. I don't know if I'm making sense. Yeah, I'm gonna just stop talking your head off and just lay down and try to get some rest. Cause like I said, tomorrow's a new day. Still gotta wake up. Still gotta keep pushing. So me complaining right now is not doing nothing. I just need to start doing better and start doing stuff that's gonna make me not feel this way. So. Hey y'all, it is the next day and it's 11 a.m. So I'm like, I'm gonna pack first and then freshen up to get this out the way because I know I'll take a minute, but I don't think it should take that long because I'm literally just packing straight chill clothes, like sweatsuits. I think Detroit is still a little cold. So I'm gonna just do chill clothes. I'm not going out there to go out. It's just like I said, Zay's mom surgery. So we're mostly gonna be like in the house at the hospital and that's about it like we're not going out so this should be easy because i don't have to plan any outfits i am taking my smaller suitcase not my big one and then like a carry-on i feel a little tired i laid down as soon as i was done talking to y'all oh yeah about yesterday i don't know how i feel like that's the thing, I be feeling like that sometimes and then like the next day I could be totally okay. Right now I feel okay. I don't know, that's the thing. I need to stop putting these feelings aside and like, you know, handle how I'm really feeling within myself instead of just like, oh, it's gonna be okay. Just put it to the side, brush it off. About that right now I feel okay because my mind is in on that. I'm just trying to worry about packing and getting to the airport on time. So yeah. I'm gonna pack, chill clothes. I went to sleep at four in the morning. I laid down as soon as I was done talking to y'all, but my body, for some reason, didn't go to sleep early. So I am a little tired, but we gotta push through it. This look like a little sweatsuit. I don't know, I don't know where that. I'm definitely gonna pack like two of my Juicy Couture sets. Cause that's my favorite thing in lounge and scams, like, the vibes y'all i'm gonna pack like four to five chill fits i don't know how long i'm staying i haven't booked my flight to come back but um maybe four to five days to a week let me get all the options out and then i will show y'all me packing all right y'all this is everything that i have out one two three four five so i'm gonna see if i can squeeze this in here because i still gotta add like sleeping clothes and then i don't know what all, all shoes i'm taking yet but like i said pretty chill stuff so let's start putting it in the suitcase
all right y'all y'all see me pack so after i was done doing like the clothes and shoes i went downstairs freshened up got ready and then i just finished packing up like my beauty stuff which it wasn't a lot it's literally just my edge brush my skin stuff and a few little makeup products i'm gonna grab some of the stuff out there i just throw on a regular sweatsuit i like being really comfortable for the airport um and then i door dash me some chick-fil-a so i can have something on my stomach before we get on this flight my mom is taking me um got a little regular salad with the hex for avocado sauce they put creamy salsa what the hell that is and one of these and i got some fries because can't help it and a fruit punch they forgot my straw so i got a little sponge wash straw in there i just gotta pack my carry-on bag which i gotta take my laptop my camera i don't know if i want to take my headphones i might just take them to listen to music and won't be bored on the plane so yeah my suitcase is packed i just gotta pack my carry-on little bag and we are good to go. So I'm just eating quick lunch right now. I actually like Greensboro Airport because it's small. You get right in and it ain't stressful. So it'll be good. I'm just ready to be there already. Y'all should go try this salad with the avocado ranch so good so her surgery is tomorrow i just pray everything goes good and then just most of all for her to feel better because like i was telling y'all she hasn't been feeling good like her back stuff has been really bad so hopefully this surgery do something then i'm also ready to see zay he's been gone hasn't been a week i don't know i'm ready to see him that's who's gonna pick me up from the airport. So I'm about to just eat my little quick lunch, y'all. Pack my carry-on bag and just wait till my mama get here. I'll probably see y'all once I make it to the airport. Or if I have any new updates, I'll let y'all know. About to catch another fight. I'm about to make him wanna bite. I just wanna have a good night. I just wanna have a good night. Hold up. If you don't know, now you know. If you broke, then you gotta let him go. Have anybody any money more? Cause you a boss, you can do what you want. About to catch another fight. This, this, about to catch another fight. About to catch another fight. This, this, about to catch another fight. About to catch another fight. This, this, about to catch another fight. About to catch another fight. This, this, about to catch another fight. I just wanna have a good night. I just wanna have a good night. Hold up, hold up. I just wanna have a good night. Hold up, just wanna have a good night. I just wanna have a good night. Hold up, 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 hold up. Reunited and it feels so good. I'm in your city. What's up? We are. He got a special friend. Yeah. I landed, y'all. What time is it? Seven ten. I landed, my flight was smooth, just this, this airport took forever to get to Zay. But I made it safe and sound, so, yup, just wanted to let y'all know I made it. We made it to Aisha's, so oh, she's asleep. She, I can't even say hey. She acting like she's asleep, she lying, she in there, she gonna jump up and act. look at her. I did not sleep. Hey, <laughs> Oh, thank you. Okay, by yourself. All right. You love me and Nana. I mean, me and Bella. I'm the one you love me and Nana. She know who you is. That's Nana. Hey. We made it. Yay, you love me. For real. Yeah, Zay supposedly got a dog. So we walk in the dogs right now before we go grab something to eat. This um Zay mom dog. Y'all look. <laughs> look at the views, though. It look beautiful. Bro, what? <laughs> Making my way downtown. How'd the rest go? How'd the rest go? I'm starving and they playing. We grabbing food. What is this place called? Piece of cat. 
It's a good. Yeah, Pizza Cat. Yeah. We have Pizza Cat downtown Detroit. Shout out DJ BJ with the 35 What? Keep peaks. Uh, what? Pizza Cat. This the vibes in here. Okay. This the vibe. I got a whole DJ in here. I don't know what I want. Zay got a drink. Do a cheers to the camera. <laughs> I don't drink when I'm in Detroit, so it feel weird. My pizza is out. I got meat lovers. It looks so good. I just got a small dough. Y'all know Zay can't eat pizza. I'ma try it with the extra stuff. They got wings. Go ahead, try one. They're good. I'm about to try wings. Them good. Them good. That's probably a 10. That's probably a 10. 10. Hey y'all, it is 1.45 in the morning after we left the restaurant or the little spot. We just came back. I've actually been working on Karen video. I'd have had, I just had to review it and I'm literally just not finishing. And it's 1.45. We actually have to be up at 5 in the morning for her surgery. But I just wanted to come say bye. This is the end of this video. I did bring y'all along for two weeks if y'all didn't notice just because I was gone for a month before I posted my mom video and then her birthday vlog wasn't as long so I just wanted to give y'all a little extra hopefully y'all enjoyed this vlog and the two weeks with me this is the end in a few hours not even tomorrow it's her surgery so just send prayers for her hopefully everything goes good I love y'all so so much don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I will see y'all in the next video this is Let's go. Got the kind of vibe you never let go. She know what to do to make a man go up and down, up and down, up and down. Girl, let's